meet April. She went from 30,000 a year to seven figures. And here's how. Having a job is so life-sucking, but if you do these four things, you can leave your job and actually enjoy having a life providing for your family. So to my moms not enjoying the job and wanting more, here's how you do it. Your J-O-B is robbing your life. And I wanna show you how you can plan to make a million. So do these four things and you'll make a million dollars. If you don't, you'll probably slow your process down or stay in that J-O-B working your life away. I'm not a special superhero. I really disliked my job as a nurse. So in three years, I became a millionaire. It's that easy. Wrong, you're gonna fail. Here's the truth. I had no idea where I was going. I had my kids who all needed me in different ways. My husband was working full time for his family business and he didn't want me to be an entrepreneur. Life was challenging. I was stuck in this like family trauma telling myself this narrative over and over again. But here are three things I did that I think are gonna help you. I want you to do the math, the math to your first million. Okay, so a $10 product times 100,000 people equals a million dollars. A $100 product or service times 10,000 people equals a million dollars. A $1,000 product or service times 1,000 people equals a million dollars. So by doing this, you have a direction and you begin to ask yourself, do I have something to offer? There are so many things that people don't want to do that maybe you have a gift for doing. Of course, if you have a $10 service, you're going to have a hard time scaling, but you can. Maybe you can start somewhere before you move on to my next important step. You got to build your brand. A brand is an experience. It's, you know, an experience of your product or your service. It's the feeling you want your customers to have. A brand isn't always about colors and fonts. Think of your brand as the formula inside the special margarita you make. It's your taste, it's your style, it's your way of making them remember you. And as you start growing your earning potential, then you can add your colors and all that jazz. But I first want you to focus on giving people your experience. I have one more thing that's gonna increase your income earning potential. I put this last because it's one that I neglected for a long time. You gotta invest in yourself. And you're probably thinking, Kayla, what do you mean invest in yourself? Look, there are other ways of investing in yourself than just buying a book. Are you going to seminars? Are you buying courses and actually completing them? And are you taking action on the info given to you? Are you being guided by a coach and speeding up your learning curve by so many years? Are you going to mastermind groups? Are you surrounding yourself with the right people in the right groups? Tell me, are you? Last and final thing, and probably the most important, you must practice having faith. You've got to believe deeply and put all of your energy in those first three steps. You know, in the Bible, in Philippians 4, 8, it says this, and I read this to my kids every single night. I make them confess this verse out loud. Finally, believers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable and worthy of respect, whatever is right and confirmed by God's word, whatever is pure and wholesome, whatever is lovely and brings peace, whatever is admirable and of good reputation, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think continually on these things. Center your mind on them and implant them in your heart. I'm telling you, there are gonna be bad days. It doesn't matter what stage of life you are in, poor or wealthy, but it's your faith that's gonna help you get past it. It's your positive self-talk. It's reminding like, okay, I gotta think on what is true. What does God say about me? What does God say about my future, my kid's future? The behaviors of doing good deeds, okay? So putting out value out there into the world, you put this energy out into the world and you receive back abundance. You receive back prosperity. I like to call this the law of circulation. Whatever you put out there, you're gonna get back. This has been a simple breakdown, but if you're ready to take action and you really wanna see how this law can transform your life like it did mine, you can download my free Making Money Moves worksheet right here.
Okay. I show you how to lead yourself in your finances, which will help you gain clarity on how you will make your next million dollars. I really look forward to seeing you in this journey. I want you to comment down below if any of this speaks to you.